Welcome to the final days. Today is January 11, 2020. The images you will be viewing in this video were all taken by the FAA weather cameras in Alaska and Canada early last month, December 2019. No editing has been done except where obvious contrast has been added to facilitate viewing of the details. The purpose of this video is to alert viewers that we are living in the very last days according to the Holy Bible and how to prepare. Jesus describes the last days in Luke chapter 21 verse 25 when he says that we will see signs in the sky when the end is near. As Christians we are commanded to watch for these signs and wonders signaling the end of the age so that we are not ignorant of the very late hour in which we are living and so that we can be spiritually prepared for what lies ahead and help others to become spiritually prepared. Information is at the end of this video instructing you on how to get spiritually prepared by accepting Jesus into your life. These images show abnormal sky conditions, pointing to the fact that we are living in the very last days. Please feel free to use any parts of my videos without worrying about copyrights. Let's get the truth out while we still have time. On January 9th, Paul Begley had a guest speaker who goes by the name of Mike from Around the World, which is a cover name for someone who works in government intelligence. Mike is interested in letting people know to prepare for a very rough year due to cosmic interference coming from sources far above our atmosphere. Several months ago, Homeland Security advised all citizens to have six months supply of food and water on hand. They didn't say why. But Mike has provided us with some of these reasons. Please click on the link in the description box below to watch the entire video featuring guest speaker Mike from around the world. In Paul Begley's January 9 video, Mike tells us that the humidity in Earth's southern hemisphere has dropped and will continue to drop for several reasons. This has temporarily pushed the humidity north of the equator. However, this drop in humidity will eventually spread through the entire Earth. The drying out of our atmosphere will cause higher wind speeds worldwide and this wind will be faster than our infrastructures can handle. These high winds will also cause very high ocean waves and related damage. The, this excessive wind will cause very large hail. Mike also tells us that Earth is experiencing tectonic plate disruptions and an increase in meteorites. Earthquakes and volcanic activity have skyrocketed. Mike also explained our crippled magnetosphere, which is now causing fragmented and flailing jet streams and record high radiation. Our broken jet stream will cause extreme weather. Mike advised us that Earth's core is heating up and expanding. Our magnetic pole is wandering at a speed never seen before. Mike gave us some upcoming Earth change events with dates. Starting tomorrow, Sunday, January 12th, 2020. Earth will be hit with three waves of particles coming from a source far above Earth's atmosphere. The effects of these energy waves could spill into Monday, January 13th. We may see a rise in earthquakes and possibly some power outages and perhaps even other types of damage. Here's another event that Mike told us about. He said that there is an extreme weather anomaly coming within the next 9 or 10 days. And also, the worst one, 
Mike says that on or around May 12th of this year, it will be a disastrous time and that there will be loss of life. Survivors of this date will call out to the Lord and turn to God. People will be terrified and will be working for their survival. People will have to deal with conditions they never thought possible. It sounds like we are in for a very rough year. The planetary system that I've been featuring for quite some time will be making its closest pass to Earth during the Great Tribulation, which may be upon us now, and this is described in the Bible's book of Revelation. But all this is actually good news and cause for celebration, because Jesus has promised to remove his faithful followers from earth before God's wrath occurs. As mentioned previously, this is commonly called the rapture, which will take place quickly and quietly. The New King James Version of Luke chapter 21 verse 36 reads, Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass. Jesus is referring to God's wrath. He is saying that those who are counted worthy will escape all of God's wrath. Faithful followers are not appointed to God's wrath. To be counted worthy, we must be living in holiness. A link in the description box below discusses what holiness is and how to achieve it. Always remember that you are an eternal soul. The real you is an eternal soul, not that temporary flesh body you see when you look in the mirror. Your eternal soul was sent into this world, into that temporary flesh body, so that you could fulfill your purpose here on earth. Your purpose is to choose to love Jesus Christ out of your own free will and live according to that love. This is the only reason we are here. The next few screens will tell you how to accept Christ into your life in the event you are seeking Him. Simply pause the screens if you need more time to read the text.